How are you doing, Big Afton? Pretty good, Tim. You wanted to see me? I'm going to cut to the chase, Peter. You really crapped the bed this season. Me, crap the bed. What about Bowman and Questenberry in the semi-final game? They had seven points combined. They lost that game not, me. I don't want to hear it, Big Afton. Excuses are for little girls and flower-throwing hippies. Not D-League players. This was my breakout season. I broke out, baby, and you know it. Just ask the Ginia ballers. I wouldn't exactly call shooting 19% from the field and averaging 3 points and 5 rebounds a breakout season. I need my touches, baby. It's as simple as that. Big Afton can't dominate without his touches. You and Lar Bear are skating on pretty thin ice. If you don't shape up, you'll both be playing basketball for peanuts. There is only one thing I have to say in regards to that brother. Oh, really? I couldn't wait to hear what you have to say. That is what I have to say to you, homeboy. Bravo. Bravo, Big Afton. Way to keep it classy, brother. Oh, oh man, it smells like liverwurst in here now. What can I say? I'm just as powerful off the court as I am on the court. I'll see you around. This is not over by a long shot. You will be back crying to me when you are not getting your touches.